If you're not getting cellular network on your iPhone 16, 16 Pro, Max or Plus, because the eSIM or physical SIM is not working, it says no SIM card available, or you're getting other errors like invalid SIM, no service, SIM failure, or it keeps showing searching, then let me show you some easy to follow fixes to any SIM card issues on your iPhone that's running on iOS 18. First of all, you need to make sure that your SIM card is not deactivated or disabled and your iPhone is not carrier locked. To check whether your iPhone is carrier locked, you'll need to open settings, then go to general, about, and scroll down to carrier lock. If it says no SIM restrictions, then you're good to go. But if it says it's locked to a carrier, then you'll need to contact your SIM provider and request them to unlock your phone. But if this wasn't the issue, then you can try turning on airplane mode, wait for a few seconds, then turn it off. And if your SIM still doesn't show up and you're not getting any network, then you can also try force restarting your iPhone. If you're still facing issues, then if it's an eSIM, try deleting it from your iPhone and then reactivating it. But before that, you must make sure that you have the activation code or the QR code to activate it back. And in case of physical SIM, then remove the SIM tray from your iPhone, make sure that the SIM fits in the tray, and both the SIM tray and the SIM card itself is clean. So give it a quick wipe and put it back. If it still doesn't show up, try inserting the SIM card to a different phone. And if the other phone doesn't detect the SIM card as well, then it's your SIM card that's not working, so you'll need to replace your SIM with a new one. But if the SIM card works on the other phone, then insert a different SIM card on your iPhone that's causing the issue. Unfortunately, if your iPhone doesn't detect any SIM card, then first you can try resetting the network settings of your iPhone. For that, open settings, go to general, scroll to the bottom and go to transfer reset iPhone. Then reset and reset network settings. But not that, this will delete your Wi-Fi networks and all the paired Bluetooth devices. So if you're okay with that, tap on reset network settings and your iPhone will reboot. After rebooting, if the issue persists, then first connect back to your Wi-Fi network. And now you can get the Apple support app from the App Store. Then open it and select your iPhone. Now scroll down to support topics, tap on more, and select eSIM slash SIM. And from this page you can either contact your career or scroll down and contact Apple support via messaging or phone call. And after that they will definitely be able to fix your issue. So make sure to leave your feedback and if this helped, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you around.